Today, I'm going to show you how to use Brisk Teaching to create a fourth grade ELA lesson. And I'm going to start by picking out the standard I want to use. So I want to focus on the language standard today, all focused on context clues. So I actually already pulled up the Common Core standards, and I'm just going to highlight the one I want to use, which is use context, definitions, examples, or restatements in a text as a clue to the meaning of a word or phrase. And I'm going to copy that. And in my blank slides deck, I'm going to click on the brisk teaching icon in the bottom right corner and hit create. And then I'm going to hit add slides. And to describe the topic, I'm just going to paste that standard right in. I'm going to make sure it says fourth grade, 10 slides I can adjust. I think I'm going to choose 10. And for the template, I often like to use a blank template. I think today I'll try the brisk template. I like that blue color. And I will hit brisk it. And then we'll see slides start to generate that include a title slide, introductory slide, and many slides that include bullet points going over the, the key points. Oftentimes there'll be questions to ask students along the way. So we can see an introduction to context clues. What are they? What are the types? And it looks like we go into detail about the type. So using definitions as a clue, using um, examples, using synonyms, antonyms, and you can see there are images to support the text as well, which is really great. So I really like what I what I see here. I don't think that I would take anything off so far. I could easily delete if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. However, I am going to create a lesson plan for myself to, to print out alongside this. So I'm just going to go down to the bottom here to lesson and it'll automatically populate, create a lesson plan about this presentation. 30 minutes is probably a good amount. So I'll keep that hit brisket. And then a Google doc will pop up with a lesson plan. We'll include the objective. It'll include the standards, materials needed, and then the different parts of the lesson. And then I plan to just print this out and put it on a clipboard so that I have it to reference as I'm teaching, I'm standing up and teaching my students using this slides deck. It goes right along with the slides, so it's perfect um, to reference throughout as, as you go throughout, like it says, show slide three and explain this. So I really do appreciate that just to have um, there are ideas for an assessment as well as extension, which I appreciate. Encouraging students to practice using context clues in their independent reading is a great idea. Um, another thing that I would like to do is I'm going to try to create another resource to go with this as well. So I'm going to hit create and I'm going to hit quiz. And now I'm not going to actually give my students a quiz on this quite yet because we need more practice, but I'm just going to use the quiz. Um, and make it as a worksheet. So I'm just going to put context clues. And then you can do multiple choice. I'm going to do short response for this one because I would like them to come up with the meaning of each word on their own. And then let's see, I'll do about 12 questions. And then I'll hit next. Google Forms is a great option, especially for quizzes. It automatically grades it for you, which I love. I think today I, I want to do some paper pencil work, so I'm going to do a Google Doc. That way I can print them out and have them ready for my students to work on with each other. And you can see we have 12 questions with different sentences asking what each word means. So I can look through and make sure that I think that they're all um, good sentences. So the aroma of freshly baked cookies wafted through the house, making everyone's mouth water. What does the word aroma mean? So they would just type in their answer here. And I can also create an answer sheet. There's not one on here, but I can just simply go to the brisk, hit create. I'll hit resource and I'll just say answer key and brisk it. and an answer key pops right up. So I'm gonna reformat this, just make the text a little bit bigger, print it out, and I have a activity for my students.